For a new challenge, I'm surviving in Rimworld on an island in the middle of the ocean. We'll start off with a naked brutality scenario and Randy Random as our storyteller. That means all the events will be totally at random, obviously, and we'll be crash landing from outer space onto a beach with absolutely nothing to start. Obviously, an island of sand and coconut trees lacks many of the required resources for life and sustainment, so I'll be adding banana trees, and also the Z-Levels mod, which will allow me to dig beneath the surface of the island to discover oceanic caverns filled with coral and other rich mineral deposits. Since this is not an ordinary start, our single colonist, Undugu, will be extremely overpowered. And since everyone loves a good skill grind, I'll be starting him off with all passions and no skills so that he can learn at an unprecedented rate and upgrade his primitive lodgings. Can we survive this? It was supposed to be a minor surgery. Just an hour under anesthetic, you felt totally safe. Now you've awoken inside a drop pod, punching through the atmosphere of a distant rim world. Aside from a slick, mysterious goo all over your body, you're totally naked. With no preparation, no supplies, and no tools, can you survive? And there we go, Undugu is landing in the middle of nowhere. Let's just look at some of the local wildlife. Oh, that's nice. A giant aconda. Gigant aconda. Male age 13. Just walking around. We have some fertile soil on the eastern side of the atoll, and all about the rest of it. There's a tribe of flamingos over here, and some other local marine wildlife. I think that we should avoid the Giganticonda and build our home on the northern side of this atoll. Let's just leave our crashed ship, or what remains of it. This side looks safe. All we have are these Omega Dodos and Kiwis roaming around the beaches. There you go, Undugu. Just have a good walk along the shore. Ah, uh, he's walking along the shoreline. Look, he's actually creating ripples in the water. Now, right off the bat, we need to chop down some trees. And we'll set Undugu off to that right away. He has no skills, but he really wants to learn. There you go, just get your first level of plants already on that first tree. He's a fast learner, psychopath, ironed will, gay, misandrous, jogger, bloodlust, cannibal, and industrious. So he's pretty OP, except he just stinks right now. And good, he's got down that first tree, he's got 11 wood. He'll need to plant some rice in the ground. And we need to find him a meal for day one figure out how to capture that meal. It looks like these Omega Dodos and the Kiwis are completely non-violent. So now using all this newfound wood, we'll just create a crafting spot right here. And unfortunately we need crafting skill too if we want to create a bow. So we'll just have Undugu make clubs until he's better at crafting. And it started raining. Now he has an iron will, but this is going to bring down his mood. He doesn't like being naked, soaking wet, and hungry. Come on Undugu, just build that club right away. You need a meal desperately. There we go. Now Undugu has a club and we can just have him attack this kiwi. I need you for food. Good. It looks like he's stunned it on the first blow. He's gonna get into... Good. Oh, he took no damage from that. It's a very weak animal, but he has one kill now. Now all he needs is a butcher table. You can chop up the kiwi and make a meal of it. And we probably won't have a real room for him, so he's just gonna have to sleep on the ground tonight. Fortunately, though, these sleeping spots do give a marginal degree of comfort. Good job, Undugu. He's getting better with plants. Wow, and he already made melee level 2 from that one fight. And he's at plants level 2 as well, making some progress here. We'll try to utilize all this soil, and let's just tell him to plant rice for now. It's a pretty reliable staple crop, and he can use the rest of the wood from these trees as he goes along. Harvest botched on that one. There we go, he's getting a little bit of rice in the ground. This will help him out in a couple days. Oh, and it actually turns out you can just harvest the trees. I didn't even need to kill the kiwi. Oh well, more melee experience, and he gets to eat plants. There we go, just grab those coconuts out of the tree, Undugu. There he goes, eating, and now his appetite is slightly more sated, but he's fine to work for the rest of the day. He's just gonna get some of this rice in the ground before he gets off to work, and let's have him cut down these trees. He keeps botching harvests, but he just needs a little bit more wood. And we'll set up a small stockpile zone right down here. I think we'll set up the stockpiles in the sand, because he can't really use that for planting, and we'll probably build our home on the beach. Great, he's got to work on his butcher table and now he should be able to eat the local wildlife and nice he finished it without botching the construction he's just gonna eat some coconuts and then get off to bed in the rain wow he wants to work deep into the night his extremely low expectations burning passion for his work and initial optimism are pretty much carrying him here otherwise he would have broken several times but those are really overpowered he keeps botching harvests but it's probably enough off to bed with you now off to bed undugu I'm just keeping an eye on this. It looks like the, the gigant anaconda, gigant and gigant, 
Gigantaconda. The Gigantaconda is in good health. I don't like that that's on the island, but I put as much distance as possible between me and it. Ah, what a great first day you've had, Undugu. You made a club, you chopped down a bunch of trees, you planted rice, and you're now sleeping in the dirt under the rain. What an adventure you've already had. Next, we want to take care of his nudity, so I might try to use these kiwis. I'm just gonna have him butcher every animal that he meets, and hopefully he could make some clothes to take out this nudity debuff. Good job, he's tearing it up, and hopefully he'll get more than just meat. All right, he got two bird skins. I'm not sure if we'll be able to use bird skins, though. Maybe this Omega Dodo would be safer to hunt. I guess we'll wait till he can craft a bow and then work on it then. All right, Undugu, just chop down more of these trees. And he's already at plants level three. His skill acquisition is accelerating. He has a burning passion for his work, and he's learning at 150% of their normal speed. And Devil's Claw Leaves. He can eat those as well, so that should keep him satisfied for the first few days. Next, we want to give him some recreation, so I think we'll build him a horseshoes pin. There we go right on the seashore and he'll get working on that right away good have some fun on dugu you may not have a house but at least you have horseshoes to play alone where did he get where did he get the horseshoes anyway although i may not understand him if it makes him happy i support it and another day of grinding away at these plants we should probably make him a house soon though the outdoor temperature hasn't really been so bad i was expecting it to be hotter so maybe one more night out under the stars there we go on dugu just bring away all the rest of this wood and let's just set up a lean to to store our supplies in there we go he might botch these constructions but Oh, great, he got one up. So now he can get the roof over this wood and hopefully prevent it from deteriorating before tomorrow. There we go, that's all we really needed. And in fact, let's let him sleep under there for tonight, too. You don't need to sleep out in the rain anymore, Undugu. Oh, and it looks like the Omega Dodo is gonna keep him company tonight. It's like some sort of pet. Maybe we won't have to use you for clothes. Oh, he actually gets a mood buff from eating a big coconut. He's stuffed. And the rain is let up, finally. Island life awaits. Now, if nothing else, RimWorld colonists can't stand eating without a table, so let's just get him a little stool and table going for day one. Or what are we on now? Day three? Day three. He hasn't snapped yet, and that's all that matters to me. I need you to build a table before you eat breakfast, because you'll be angry if you don't. Here we go, he built one table. Poor condition, but it is a table. And build that chair before you eat breakfast. Good. Good. Now he can eat breakfast at the table. He's gonna be so glad about this. We've gotten rid of a lot of these mood debuffs and we've got wood now. He's not soaking wet and I think it's time to give him an actual house. We'll go five by five for our first room and we'll just put a door right there to seal out the temperature. We'll also tell him to build a bed here where it's light because we haven't roofed this area yet and he could still use the light to hopefully get a better construction on it. There you go, just grind away your construction skill on Dugu. You're doing a great job, man. Everybody's rooting for you. Everyone loves you. Oh, the Omega Dodo has self-tamed. Oh, my dream of friendship realized in a bird. Come, Omega Dodo. Just don't eat my food. And it looks like he's gonna need a few more trees to chop. I like you, but I also don't want you in here. So I'm gonna set up an area for the bird outside of my property. Invert the area. Let's name it Birdland after my favorite jazz album. Stay away from me. He's in Birdland. Why are you coming? No, don't come into my house. Stay out. Stay out. What the fuck? No, he's... Why did it? You're supposed to be in Birdland. All right, whatever. I guess he just wants to keep me company. As long as he doesn't eat any of my food. Well, Ndugu's getting ravenously hungry, so he'll have to eat these leaves raw again. He'll chop down another tree, finish off his house and his bed, and I think we'll call it a day there. I hope he doesn't botch this. He's got one good chance. And how did he do? Poor condition, but we did our best, and he can always reconstruct it. We'll just expand out our stockpile zone. And he's finished off his house. He now has a roof. Good job, you just built a house. And here I'm also gonna add something from our Z-Levels mod. We'll give him a ladder up onto his roof. So that way he could, well, hopefully I'll have some line of defense in case if any invaders come. All right, Undugu, go up to the roof and see the view. And he can just head on up here. And now we have a whole other Z-Level on our hands. He can hang out up on the roof. And there he is on the ground again, going about his day, but he could hang out up here if he wanted to. So I think we'll have him keep on eating coconuts for the first few days, because we have copious amounts of them. And it's easy to see the brown ones are ripe, and we can harvest them, and the green ones are still growing. But we still want him to get some cooking skills, so let's have him try cooking this meat, and then just not eating the meal. He's gonna mess up every single meal that he makes for the first few days. And he failed at making a campfire. How do you fail at making a campfire? Alright, whatever. At least you'll get experience. And we'll just have him cook a simple meal. All we need are one or two of them. Oh, he can actually make it out of coconuts as well. Let's have him make a meal of this kiwi, though. He's already 
grinding out cooking skill, and this is... The opportunities are few and far between to get cooking skill. Now he's got a bedroom, he's got a fire going, and we want to prevent him from overheating, so let's build him a passive cooler in here. You might have noticed that the temperature has gotten awfully hot outside. It's 90 degrees, and he doesn't have any clothes, and we've got a mad kiwi somewhere. It will attack everyone it sees. All right, Undugu, just get some rest before your fight. Get some rest before you need to fight the mad kiwi. It's pacing out in the water in anger at you. It went onto the roof. It's just chilling on the roof, waiting. There it goes. I hope it fights the Omega Dodo. No. It's just gonna pace about in anger. Unfortunately, it hasn't attacked my door, and it looks like another rainstorm has begun. Just get some rest. You're gonna need it for the fight in the morning. He's like Rocky Balboa, eating raw eggs before his fight. All right, grab your club. You're gonna need to fight this animal. What? Okay, there it goes. Here it goes. Here he comes. <laughs> He's gonna fight me. No, maybe not. Okay, maybe he, uh, what? All right, he is going to fight. Time to fight it. Ah, great. We stunned it again. No infections. We've eliminated the kiwi. I do feel a little bit bad, but island life does that. And he'll just butcher it for a new meal. And more bird skin. He's actually getting quite efficient at chopping down these trees now. And he's got plant skill four. That's enough to get a passive cooler going. And now he should stay quite cool and relaxed. But what if he gets raided? I'll build him a set of spike trap defenses in case if somebody decides to come over here. And we'll just build another wooden wall around. This way he can get in and out and still be protected. Great, he's just chopped down all the wood and now he's finishing off his defenses. He's gonna clean up the area a little bit to make it look nicer. And we should also probably move some of this coral away from him. Although it looks nice to me, it does look ugly to him and it kind of muddies up the entire area. Just grind out your construction skill on these traps. And you don't actually need to keep refueling that fire. He has renamed the Dodo Farter after nuzzling it. I'm okay with that, but if you have a better name, write it down below in the comments. I like it though, because it's inappropriate. Off to bed, Fred. Let's just have him finish off the defenses completely. And now our base is secure. But there's still one last thing I want to do. Now, island life may be paradise, but there is one thing missing. There's no rock anywhere on the surface at all. So if we want to get any metals, we're gonna need to go underground, so we're gonna build some ladders down. We don't want to use those natural holes, because that's actually the programming for infestations. And you might not be able to get out if you can't find any steel underground. So don't use those. There we go. This is gonna open up a whole new world. Go down, Undugu. Go down. And down here, he can mine everything around him and start looking for metals. Now the walls down here are all made of coral, so I guess the entire island is a reef. But we can just start spreading around in all directions. We want to avoid cave-ins though, so we'll try to make our hallways narrow. And we'll just tell him to start working on his mining skill next. Though he hasn't had any opportunity to do that yet, so he's gonna be pitifully slow. And although it's the middle of the day, he's hardly made any progress at all. This is the speed he works at. I am at three times speed right now, and it's just taking him forever to get out one block. We have an eclipse, but we wouldn't even know because we're underground. So I guess we're better off underground for now. And it's just like Dwarf Fortress. We can go back and forth between all of our layers and watch what's happening on each of them. We'll just turn that back off and watch him mine. Now, I've noticed that he does get outdoor temperatures down here, so we might want to bring him upstairs from time to time so that he doesn't get heat stroke and die. It's actually hotter underground than it is outside. It's almost like it's insulated or something. We'll just send him back up the stairs and continue with our plant journey. I'd say the last thing that we want out of today is maybe just to make him a bow. It'd be nice if he could hunt some of these animals to make some clothes for himself. So let's make a few more clubs to up his crafting skill. And we're getting raided by the devils right in the middle of the night. Let's see what these people have. It's one guy with a... Oh, Shit! He has a revolver, though. He might kill my Omega Dodo. Let's send Farter back inside so that he can defend me in case if this raider gets near our house. Now, yes, you can get raided at an atoll. My my guess is that it's Atlantis and they come out of the ocean. But let's send Farter back inside along with Undugu, and we can prepare a valiant defense. We'll need a new area. We'll call it the safe space. And the safe space will be inside my house. Come on in, my bird. Join me in the safe space. I made it special for you. Here he comes, Rick. Uh, if we manage to kill him with the spike traps, we won't even need to craft a bow. And we could just use a revolver as our first weapon. Okay, he's beginning his assault. If worse comes to worse, I could always run underground and then melee him. And he'd be forced to fight me with his revolver. Hand to hand. This guy's not very good at shooting or melee, though, so I don't think he'll get through our defenses. But he is a jogger, so he can run as fast as me. A misogynist jogger. Damn those misogynist joggers. And we'll tell Undugu to stay in here. Now, is he gonna hit the trap? He should- oh, he's gonna destroy my fire! One, and- 
And looks like he got really badly injured from that first one. He's gonna try to walk it off. He's gonna try to destroy my- No. This guy is really hell-bent on ruining my home. He's not even setting it on fire. What the hell? You can set fire to- Yeah, he's- I shouldn't have said that. I still don't want to fight him, though, because it's just not worth it for the rice. And I want to keep my animal safe. So we'll just let him bleed out while the rice burns for a bit. He's gonna die in seven hours. Let's see if we can get him to come over, though. Send Undugu to the door. Come out and fight me like a man. No, he- Ah, uh, fuck. All right, he's just going to set fire to everything. No, okay, here he comes back. He's coming back now. Please? Okay, good. Here he comes. No, why would- Okay. Come in, come back, come back. There he goes. No. Dude. Well, at least he hit one of the traps. The rest will burn for a while, though. All right, then, Dugu, you just go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. He may have set fire to our home, but at least you didn't get shot, and that's what matters to me. Stay safe, Undugu. Maybe we could get Rick to come and- No. Oh, rain at the perfect time. His attack has been ruined. But he had blood all over the floor. Look at this guy. He is really persistent. Jesus. And there he goes. Oh, okay, we got Rick. Unfortunately, we couldn't get that sweet-ass bowler hat, but the rain will put out my fire. We'll send- we'll send Farter back to Birdland, and Undugu can go back to his life. We'll just equip this revolver and then go put out the fires. Now Undugu actually has a revolver? He'll get most of his rice harvest, and he has a lot of other good shit. Now, I like his life. And the fields will still be fertile, despite the fact that he set them on fire. Well, we put out the fire, and our home is safe from invaders. And that's only the beginning. What lies next is underground. Let's just bury this dead body, and we'll be off. There you go, Undugu. Let's bury Rick. And I think we'll call it there for a day. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this island survival. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.